You know, for the past 50 years or so, uh, conventional relationship experts have been selling us all on the notion that communication is the cornerstone of all relationships. Well, that may be true, but what they haven't been telling us is that communication is also the downfall of most relationships. Have you ever heard this before? We need to talk. If you've ever been in a failed relationship, you'll recognize those words as the beginning of the end. We need to talk. Bang, there goes the starter's gun. Now it's a grueling race to an ugly finish. We need to talk. That sentence never precedes anything good. You'll never hear somebody say, we need to talk, and then go on to tell you what a wonderful person you are. Oh no, quite the contrary. We need to talk is most often a thinly veiled code, which loosely translated means, we need to talk because I need to tell you everything that's wrong with you. The talker might even tell the talkie that they're looking for feedback. But in reality, the only feedback they're looking for is, gosh, you're right about everything. If you're not prepared to give that kind of feedback, you might want to fake your own death and avoid the talk. You know, chances are, by the time your relationship has reached the we need to talk stage, you've already grown so far apart that it would take a, a miracle or a horrible tragedy to bring you back together again. Well, you're in luck. Because that horrible tragedy has a name, and it's Mike Preston, relationship expert. In fact, I'll toss you a bone right now just to give you something to chew on for a while. Try planting this thought in your subconscious. We need to stop talking. Sound drastic? It is. But if you really care about your relationship, you'll take drastic measures to save it. Say it with me. We need to stop talking. Starting to make more sense? It should. This is the solution to most relationship problems. And I understand some of you may be skeptical. Uh, you've been so brainwashed by conventional wisdom that you're programmed to believe that talking is the only way to solve problems. Well, I think it's time for a pop quiz. A pop quiz. Three quick questions to verify the severity of the talking epidemic. Question number one. How are most lies, insults, bad rumors, and false allegations transmitted? The answer? Talking. That's right. Talking is how troublemakers make trouble. Question number two. What are other people doing on their cell phones in public when the rest of us get the overwhelming urge to choke them out and throw them down a flight of stairs. That's right, talking. Talking loudly, incessantly, oblivious to the people around them who have absolutely no desire to be witness to their conversation. You know, as convenient as cell phones are, they have also become a major contributor to the cesspool of noise pollution assaulting our environment. In fact, my next book is about cell phone etiquette, and it's called Hang Up or I'm Gonna Shove That Thing Down Your Throat. And finally, question number three. What event directly precedes divorce court? All right, that was kind of a trick question. The actual answer is marriage counseling. Marriage counseling, also known as we need to talk and let's pay somebody else to help us do it. Now, if you've ever been divorced, that was a no-brainer. If you've never been divorced, here's roughly how it goes. Somehow someone, the former love of your life, gets the bright idea that you are the problem. And this needs to be brought to your attention. But you're not listening. So they decide that an impartial third party needs to be brought into the existing dynamic. Now, in any other arena, that third party would be known as the referee. And in the real world, the talk that a referee presides over is usually called a fight. Here's a fact for you. Very few fights result in two winners. Oh no, 
More often than not, one party is beaten senseless, while the other party leaves the arena slash courtroom with all the prizes. So how did this gruesome turn of events ever come about? Well, it all started with, we need to talk.